Manitoba Liquor Marts presents Great Tastes of Manitoba. Great Tastes is brought to you by foodmanitoba.ca. Local farms, local foods. Hello and welcome, great to have you. This is Great Tastes of Manitoba. My name's Ace Burpee at our wonderful new location, the Grant Park Liquor Mart Education Center. Joined by, this week, from uh, Manitoba Chicken Producers, Karen Armstrong and Sheila Nash, our product expert from Manitoba Liquor Marts. The theme is Think Outside the Bun. We are going to be making some of the most delicious, incredible, and photograph-worthy burgers you've ever seen, ever. And I should say, Karen, because you have a reputation around here now as the <laughs> tone setter. You do. Because when we started this new season, season 24, we we're all like trying to find our way around and find our legs and sort of get into it. Karen comes in, she's the first episode, and set the tone with these ridiculous, they're forever imprinted on my brain, <laughs> these ridiculous Pacific Rim um, chicken, thighs chicken thighs with skin right. on, bone. They were incredible. And then right. it just like, it was like we were right back into it. So, all right. well done. Thank you. Three different burgers, mm -hmm. starting with which one? We are going to start with a buffalo burger. So wow. think buffalo wings, but in burger form. Then we're going to go to a curry spiced burger. Excellent. And we're going to finish off with a Mediterranean burger. Again, thinking outside the bun. So Sheila, you're going to find us something to drink, but there's, <laughs> I'm telling you, there's a ton of different flavors mm -hmm. in these chicken burgers. These are not run-of-the-mill regular burgers, yeah. so there's a lot to work with. What do you need to know before you head out? Oh, well, you've, <laughs> you've given me quite the challenge. There's a lot. Of flavors yeah. to work with here, yes. too. I'm really excited, actually. Um, but uh, certainly the Mediterranean burgers. Very curious. What's the predominant flavor I'm working with on that? I would say probably the sun-dried tomatoes, because a lot of sun-dried tomatoes, so you're going to get a little bit of tang, wonderful tomato flavor, very rich tomato flavor. Okay. So, yeah. Great. Well... I'll do my best. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Have okay. fun. We'll see you soon. Happy we'll see you shopping. In a bit. All right, we're gonna start with the buffalo, buffalo. chicken burgers with, exactly. I should point out, blue cheese slaw. Yes. I mean, this is a massive win. Exactly. Already. So let's get started. So um, we're starting with lean ground chicken. You can use ground chicken uh, breast or ground chicken thigh, whichever you can find at the grocery it store. It is super lean as well, and Very tons lean. of protein. So. Exactly. So in this mixture, um, we've got some cayenne pepper. We've got Cajun spice. Isn't cayenne pepper also super good for you? Uh, yeah, My it actually is. My mom always says that. I don't know what she's basing yeah. that on. So again, I mean, another good reason to eat these burgers. Yeah. Uh, we've got green onions are going in here. Garlic. We've got uh, grated carrot. Really? And we've got panko crumbs to hold it all sort together. Sort of bind it a bit. Exactly. So I've made that mixture and I've got a couple of... of um, burgers in waiting right okay, here fine. and I'm going to share with you a really cool little tip right because every time I do this I sort of like I try and like get them nice and even right mm -hmm. but it doesn't work and then when you're cooking them you want to cook them evenly all the way through exactly. and that's a massive fail so here's a tip <laughs> yeah the easiest way to do is is get some kind of a pan that's about the thickness that you normally would want your burgers so this one like in terms of how deep how it is, deep right it is there. exactly okay. so I've got it on some wax paper. I'm gonna put a piece of wax paper on top. I'm gonna to get another pan. It can be a cookie sheet. It can be the bottom of a pot. Yep. And the secret is to take it and just do this. Sure, until they meet. Voila, instant, evenly thickness, or even thickness I'm gonna burgers. head over here for a ding and declare that your teachable moment. That's a good tip, Karen, well Super done. Super easy to do. Okay. So. Um, from there, they're going onto, the, onto our grill, which we've got right here. So I've got a couple that are already done. Now it's about assembly. All right, so we're thinking outside the bun. Well, yeah, and, and um, so everything's a bit different with these, mm -hmm. and she's even changed up, like it's not just a traditional bun, right? Uh, no, okay. no. In this case, we're using uh, cheddar cheese biscuits. So grab a biscuit. Come on. All right, the next thing you mentioned, the blue cheese slaw, that's what we've got here. So a little bit of that goes on oh. the bottom. I'm gonna grab my burger bun here. So a little of that, you can use oh, a fork yeah. or you can use your fingers to, to get that on. Then we I like this because um, I like to make a burger look spectacular before oh. anyone eats it. It adds to the add party. Do you want to add that to mine yeah, too? Do. you want like, yes. uh, a massive helping? Or you... Oh sure, just get it on there. Okay, blue cheese slaw on a what kind of biscuit again? This is a cheddar cheese biscuit. Cheddar you cheese can use biscuit. a regular biscuit. Sure. And we're only using half of it. Okay. So this is a burger that does not have a top on it. Yep. It's an open face burger. So there is your 
burger patty. These are a little warm, so don't want to burn fingers. There you go. go. I'll get one of mine. All uh, right. Where's that? What's in the way there? That thing? Okay, so buffalo, you're thinking hot sauce, right? I am. So we've got... And I am not afraid of hot sauce. All right. We've got hot sauce, so you can just add your hot sauce on top. I'm going to stand back just in case. Oh, that's so looking good. That's <laughs> looking fabulous. So put Do some of mine. You for, trust yeah. me? Uh, sure, why not? And again, as little or as much as you like. All right, now, okay. <clears throat> what do you normally have to dip with uh, buffalo wings? You like have a, like a little side of blue cheese dressing, right? Exactly. And you dip it in. So we're not going to do dressing. We're just going to go right to the blue Straight cheese. Straight up. Straight up blue cheese. So put your blue cheese on there. This is incredible. These are buffalo chicken burgers. We're uh, topping them with um, blue cheese slaw. How so, good does that? Look at that. The crew are on. <laughs> It's, I don't blame you. This is, can we just, let's get through this segment quickly because then we can eat them. <laughs> so Karen, this is It's all about building flavors. So we've got all those flavors in the burger itself and then we've just layered on more flavor. Yeah, I'm building friends is what I'm doing with this thing. <laughs> so there you go, buffalo, uh, buffalo burgers. Get a shot of that, that's unbelievable. And that's just the start. So the mm -hmm. theme is think outside the bun with Manitoba chicken, starting off with the buffalo chicken burgers, blue cheese slaw, but we're far from done. Oh, we're gonna yes. bring in a little, some curry flavors, some curry? bit more spice. That, mm -hmm. So these are chicken burgers, but way outside the bun. And we're gonna step it up right after these. 